next question. What do you think is the most underrated idea, theory, or argument in philosophy today? And this actually brings us back to the philosophy of mathematics. And what I have in mind for this question is something known as the Benassaraf field problem or objection. And it directly relates to this epistemological issue that I mentioned with Platonism. And the objection or question is how, in the case of mathematics, how can we have knowledge of mathematical objects, i.e. the set theoretic universe, if we're not causally connected to it or more loosely or charitably connected to it and we don't have some information transferring contact with this universe. Because if we look at our brains, uh, or if a neuroscientist looks at our brains, it seems like it's causally closed. We can make we can make sense of everything that's happening in our brains through causal mechanisms. So this is it's just also known as a cognitive access problem. I think of it think of it as maybe an interaction problem. And I should stress that the Benassaraf field objection is not something that is ignored or under, or maybe that's not how I should put it. Every, everybody knows about it who works in philosophy of math or in some relevant other areas like meta ethics. But I think it's underappreciated and ignored because anything, everything that I've encountered that has been meant to be a response to this, to vindicate something like mathematical Platonism ha is just very, very unsatisfying. All right, so that is why I think it is very underappreciated.